Hello and welcome to ICTV English News. I'm Subhila Kangabam. Let's see the top stories. Government is taking up special measures to protect women, says Chief Minister Enviren. Chief Minister dedicates ND and PS fast track court to public. Two non-locals injured in IED blast at temporary workshed of laborers near power substation at Thobalkuno. And MPCC joins AICC's nationwide fast protest at various places in state. And now the news in detail. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren has said that women of Manipur are not lacking in any manner and that special steps are being taken up by the government to protect the women. He said this while addressing the inaugural function of capacity building program for elected women representatives of Panchayati Raj Institution of Manipur held at Imphal Hotel today. Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, T.S. Biswajit, Chairperson of National Commission for Women, Rekha Sharma, Deputy Director General of of NIRD and Panchayati Raj Hyderabad, Radhika Rastogi, and additional Chief Secretary M.H. Khan attended the inaugural ceremony. Speaking on the occasion, Rekha Sharma said the program was organized at Imphal after NCW instructed NIRD and SIRD. About 880 women are taking part in the program, stating that the training program will give lots of benefits to the participating women. Minister T.S. Biswajit asked them to provide the training further to untrained women of their local areas. Chief Minister Biren said four out of six adakshas of Zilla Parisad in the state are women. Women excel their counterpart even in education today. He also asserted that the government is doing everything possible to uplift the status of women. The intervention of National Commission for Women for Stress Training in Manipur is welcome and our state government always supports such noble initiative. I feel that this training has come to in an appropriate time to sanitize the newly elected women's representatives. I will inform that the training modalities require initial trainings of 22 master trainers who in turn will train a group of women elected representatives, aggregate not exceeding 30 members in each Cases. The training of master trainers will be by NIRD. The SIRD under the supervision of NIRD will take up for the training of trainers. This, I feel, will definitely have will sustainable capacities locally for the welfare of women in the state. Chief Minister N. Biren today inaugurated a narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances fast track court at Chairab Court Complex in Imphal West District. The court has been established to deal with drug menace and facilitate speedy trial of cases relating to narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. Chief Minister N. Biren asserted that people have been demanding a separate fast track court for cases connected with crime against women and narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances to ensure speedy justice. He expressed happiness to be able to fulfill the second wish of the people by dedicating the special court for ND and PS today after fast track court for crime against women was inaugurated on June 27 last year. He added that it could be possible due to the dedicated cooperation from the judiciary and legal fraternity of the state. Vast areas of poppy plantation had been destroyed under state government's war against drugs in the past few months. Agar plantation as an alternative livelihood for the villagers will be introduced who used to grow poppy plants earlier. An MOU has been signed with a foreign firm during Northeast Development Summit held last year to set up an agar factory in the state. Observing that school dropout is one of the major reasons for high prevalence of drug or substance abuse, the government is planning to help re-admit around 40,000 school dropouts under a special scheme at the earliest. Acting Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur, Justice N. Koteshwar, Minister of Law and Legislative Affairs L.J. N. Kumar, Advocate General N. Kumarjit Singh, Judge of High Court of Manipur, Justice K. H. Nobin, Judges, Judicial Officers, Advocates and other members of the legal fraternity were also present at the function. 
Justice N. Koteshwar lauded the state government for its sincere cooperation towards improving the legal affairs of the state. He said, separate fast-track court ND and PS and crime against women had to become a reality due to the keen interest and dedicated effort of Chief Minister N. Biren. Speaking on the occasion, Minister L. J. N. Kumar said, drug menace is a serious problem and many innocent lives have fallen victims to drug abuse. Therefore, it is the responsibility of the government to save its citizens from this evil. Urging the legal fraternity to deliver justice to the public through this special court in in an efficient manner, he appealed to the public to utilize the service of the new court in a proper way. Two non-locals were injured following an IED explosion at 8 last night at the temporary workshed of laborers near the power substation at Thawal Kuno under the jurisdiction of Thawal Police Station. The injured persons were, however, in stable condition. The two injured persons were identified as Ruhidul Hek, 11, son of Sepa of Barua village in Kanpur district, and Pravin Kakhalari, 50, of Bilashpur village in Kamrup district. Meanwhile, it is still yet not known of why and who were responsible about the blast. The two injured persons belong to Techno Power, a company based in Kolkata. According to police, the bomb is believed to be an IED. Police has registered a case to further investigate about the blast. All India Congress Committee staged nationwide fast protests to bring about communal harmony in the country. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee also joined AICC by staging one-day fast protests near Congress Bhavan. MPCC President T.N. Haukip, ex-Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam, Congress MLAs and other party workers took part in the fast protest. Talking to media persons, MPCC President T.N. Haukip said, the idea of communal harmony has been fading away ever since BJP came to power in the country. As such, people have started disbelieving BJP government. He accused the BJP government at the center of functioning in connivence with RSS. As such, the fate of the citizen of India has become uncertain. One peaceful Dalit protest adu yam BJP Sarkarna, Mipun Mihad Lak Patagi. Eh, Yam Sutana Labour Kangbu say, Asum Haina Tauridi, India Simang Batari Haina. Ekoigi, AICC leader Rahul Gandhina. Twenty nine state Amasung state UT Tarita. Nasi si one day fast dharna to india constitution can see judiciary su can see aduga autonomy oiba election commission of india gumba union public service commission gumba arthali rakraba hiram khoding the bjp amasung rss na control to raga and declare emergency oi to kre abadu achumbani Ato na ngasi e hoi Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee na su Ato ko madarik tip tu Matungin na Mapham mapan khando eh Purin na hoi Matang matang chat laga su Interact to bai agani on the other hand, Emile Gai Kangam said the BJP at the center has been trying to suppress the weaker sections of the society and suppress their rights given by the Constitution of India. It is time that such governance is rooted out from the soil of the country. <laughs> I am a rule of law. I am a BJP rule state mayamda. Sumnagi kwegi apam pam na phong dokta na 
Imphal East District Congress Committee state similar protest demonstration at Kongba Khetri Lekai Community Hall. Former MLA of Khetri Gaur Lekai and many other Congress workers took part in the protest. Amin Shah said, any governance in India should justify the meaning of secularism and democracy. He condemned the alleged steps against the minority community. ไอ้กี้ยามนะนุชีจานานะสมินะบะกี้จินดะดิยามบะซะบะจิงกะตํากะนุชีนะเรไฮบะอะดุบุจิงกะตํากะนุชีนะเรวะรีซีดิงะร
ก็ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได
LJ Educare Coaching at Singjamai Okram Lekai. Addressing a press conference held at Manipur Press Club today, family of the victim and the JSC said there was no wound on Thongamba's lifeless body. There is enough evidence of photographs and videos that proves it. As such, the post-mortem report says the, bo the boy died due to external hemorrhage can't be true. The family and the JSC further appeal to the CSOs and students' organization to extend all possible help in trying to find out the facts. KSA Imphal West District Council locked the principal's room of NG College Lamphel Path in protest against appointment of principal who is beyond the criteria of MPSC. Protest demonstration was held at the campus of NG College Lamphel Path by members of KSA Imphal West District Council and students of the college. General Secretary Potsangam Ranjan said, according to the criteria of MPSC, principal of the college should be a local from the state. Therefore, a suitable person must be appointed as a principal of the college. He further said, the students will lock the principal's room and further continue the agitation. MPSC criteria in the candidate Kudimak, the from Horoba Masi State, Asida Permanent Resident Oiba, Aduga, Magi, Apopusu, State Asida Permanent Resident Oiba, Hana, Labour Nedubu, Matokramna, MPSina, Pongravazagi, Rental Labour, Ozama Bumatogramna, Principal in the Tabret Libano, Principal is Gimata, NJ College, Nidamadi, St. Pavis is Gonsin Lapoto. CRPF observed the Gallard Day today. The 86th Battalion of CRPF cleaned in and around RIMS campus as part of the observance. Medical Superintendent of RIMS Hospital, Dr. C.H. Arun Kumar and staffs of RIMS Hospital took part in the cleanliness program. Second in command of 86th Battalion of CRPF, Narayan Balai says the Gallard Day of CRPF marks the death of 8 CRPF personnel at Sadar Post in Gujarat in 1965. They lost their lives during a gun battle against a regular brigade of Pakistan that introduced in the territory of India. The day is observed across the country in commemoration of the late soldiers. On 9 April uh, 1965, one company of CRPF with the men of around 135 men repels attack of a brigade level from of a Pakistan army. So in part of uh, valid celebration, we are conducting this cleanliness operation with the RIMS authority and uh, we are spreading message to the whole people that cleanliness is next to the godliness. So we are conducting uh, cleanliness. A discussion program on developmental works including various issues was held at Ningthaukong Public Park. The program was organized by Integrated Forum of Organization under Ningthaukong Municipal Council. Chairman of Integrated Forum of Organization, also Chairperson of Ningthaukong Municipal Council, K. Mani Singh, Councillors of the Council and members of the organization attended the discussion program. Convener of the organization, L. Krishna Chandraset, the discussion program was held for the developmental works road connectivity and education system in Ningtaukong. Developmental works will be taken for every section without considering any indifference. The decisions taken at the discussion program will be apprised to the authority concerned, he added. Lamhang Singh, Amasung, Lawuk Singh as a Kananabagi, Tangai Padawa Tabak Singh Lokat Pak, Kenaba Laitawa, Amatu Ebigil Singh, Sakut Kontang, Amasan in Nabagi Lambiadu, Miam, Amatu in Yamin, Nava Hivasi, Naikoi, and Singh Mipomasi, Aruba, Amasung Pandam Oi. Emily of Tanga Assembly Constituency, Tongram Robin Road, distributed 1,000 sets of teen sheets to at least 500 households under Kordak and Nomai Kong in the constituency. Two sets of teen sheets were handed over to each household. Emily T. Robin Road maintained that the teen sheets were distributed as he had assured in the past. He further said, it is need of the hour to hand over the tin sheets before the sanction of loans for construction of houses under PMGSY. 
akoi dah lepas jumpa kudi makta, nung jumpa lepas jumpa kudi makta akoi lawan jeng kasi, si kiri kana benefisi jauh ni ayah pasi kena, ayam na thamsen kembali. A meeting was conveyed at Mini Secretariat of Bishnupur District on various development works being taken up in rural areas under the minister's slogan, Go to Villages. Adakshya of Bishnupur, Dr. Romabai, DC of Bishnupur District, Pawan Yadav, Pradhan, watch member and many district level officers attended the meeting. DC Pawan Yadav said it is very important to take the opportunity to develop area under panchayats. On the other hand, Adakshya Dr. Romabai sought people's cooperation in the efforts to develop the rural areas. And before we wind up the top stories once again. Government is taking up special measures to protect women, says Chief Minister Ndiren. Chief Minister dedicates ND and PS fast track court to public. Two non-locals injured in IED blast at temporary workshed of laborers near power, power substation at Thawal Kuno. And MPCC joins AICC's nationwide fast protest at various places in state. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.